If a client has multiple locations with a page for each location on their new site, would I need to create an IFTTT tier one for each location, or would I create an IFTTT to the home page? Just the home page, Caesar. That's what I do. I mean, if you're in a, if it's really competitive, then you you could essentially do a different one for each location. But I, you don't have to. I mean, I've got uh, one of the tree service sites that I have has got about ten locations now, um, all as subdomains, and they share one tier one branded network. All ten locations do. And um and I rank really well for that site um in in just about every location some locations aren't ranking as well as the others but for the most part I'm doing really well I'm in the three pack for I think eighty percent of them eight out of ten so um you know that and that's all sharing one IFTTT ring okay so I don't overcomplicate it again don't you know do the bare minimum required guys to get the results you need so start off with one IFTTT ring for the entire site it doesn't matter if you have multiple locations or not. Um, just consistent. Remember the the key here, guys, is consistent publishing. You know, updating it often. Publish content regularly. Okay, then track your results. If you start getting good results, then you don't need anything else. Um, if you if you are still stuck after con and don't don't publish two posts and say it didn't work. Okay, you got to get on a consistent posting schedule like what Kenny's doing, where you're publishing regularly. Over time, give it a few weeks. Uh, you know, six eight weeks of consistent publishing, one or two posts per week. Track your results. You should see significant improvements. If you do not, then possibly you might want to consider doing another ring, one for each location. And again, you're still going to need to continue to post regularly. Okay. Uh, what would be the best, fastest way to power up the tier one properties? Just build links to them. Um, you know, just be careful building links to your tier one properties. You don't want to spam those. You want to keep it clean between spam and your tier one. Uh, so just do a layer of high, you know, decent quality links. You could do a lot of, um, you could use tools, you could use our a link building service that we offer, which by the way, we're kind of reconfiguring those once again. We've got the solution for that. We'll talk about that more next week. Uh, press releases, you could do some decent quality PBN runs. Um, you could build your own link networks, just like what I was talking about Kenny to, to Kenny here. Okay. Um, should I wait for, should you wait for the tier one accounts to season before spamming them? Um, no, not really. Just don't spam them. Don't, you know, be, try to t treat your tier one properties guys almost as well as you treat your money site because you don't want to burn them. You know what I mean? Like, uh, that's why we recommend that you use something like press releases or web 2.0s, uh, with decent quality, not like real shitty spun text and everything pointing to the tier one sites. Once you've got that, that, those tier two links pointing to tier one, then you can spam those. But recommend that you try to keep your tier one link pro, the links to your tier one properties a bit clean so that you're not, um, you're not burning them, right? Because Google is essentially looking out two layers deep now. Um, so I just try to keep, especially your branded properties, guys, just keep them really clean, as, as clean as you can.